What is Neo's VR? SolarX's Neo's VR is a virtual reality development accelerator solution. SolarX, a VR specialist based in Prague, was founded in 2014. The company's mission is to create a virtual reality universe while assisting others, both independent users and organizations, in creating their own immersive spaces. SolarX's team has diverse experience in technologies such as blockchain and disruptive CPU architectures. It could be referred to as a metaverse engine, and the solution provides the virtual tools and assets required to create your own VR project. Neo's VR is powered by one-of-a-kind scripting engines that combine game engine logic, asset synchronization, and an asynchronous task asset processing. In this video, let's delve deeper into the value proposition and everything about Neo's VR. And for more meta updates or trends, subscribe to MetaHub now. Here we go. Gameplay. Neo VR's gameplay is similar to that of VRChat or Altspace VR. Virtual 2D and 3D avatars capable of lip sync, eye tracking, blinking, and a full range of motion allow players to interact with one another. While the game is called Neo's VR, it does not require VR equipment and can be played on a desktop computer. But certain limitations exist in this form, such as your inability to freely move avatar limbs, and the inability to use some two-handed VR items. Using NeoVR's built-in avatar creator, users can import and create avatars from other games. Aside from avatars, users can write computer programs in Logix, a node-based programming system that is completely integrated into Neo's VR. Logix can be used to power avatars, worlds, and other inventions. Mini games, social lounges, and user-created worlds are among the worlds available on Neo's VR. A single user may have multiple worlds loaded at the same time, utilizing NeoVR's Fruix engine to use multiple worlds at the same time. Users can completely customize their world within NeoVR's without the use of external SDKs, through custom content such as code and in-game items that can be uploaded for use. Play, share, and have fun! The NeoVR Advanced Avatar System allows you to import, build, and customize avatars entirely in-game. In addition, Neo supports enhanced facial and body tracking, haptic feedback, interactive dynamic bones, and a fully configurable, full-body IK system with up to 11 tracking points, bringing you even closer to those you're collaborating with. It has a virtual camera that can capture photos, stereo, and 360-degree videos with an adjustable resolution. Simple media sharing, import photos, music, and 3D models in seconds. First-person mode places you in your character's shoes, allowing you to interact with the world using fully functional tools and gadgets. You can see your avatar when socializing or creating content in third-person mode. Toggle between desktop and virtual reality, no restart required. Some features include an advanced locomotion system, walking, sliding, zero-g, spherical gravity, and more. Teleporters, force fields, springs, portals, and custom coordinates are all possible. Quick in-game scaling also enables you to shrink or grow to any size. Create, inspire, and amaze with Neo's VR. Build everything together in real time without taking your headset off. Brushes, material guns, and shape tools are examples of simple creative tools. Advanced building tools include a scene, component inspector, and editing gizmos. Logix is a powerful visual scripting language that can easily add custom interactions and build complex systems, games, and simulations. As you work, Import game assets such as 40 3D model formats, including FBX, Blend, and OBJ, textures and images, and audio. Make Neos a part of your pipeline by exporting anything as a 3D model. Basic in-game texture and mesh processing for common changes, support for blend shape with automatic VSIM setup. Hardware and software support. Many VR headsets are supported by Neo's VR, including the Oculus Rift, Oculus Rift S, Oculus Quest with Oculus Link, Oculus Go, Pmax headsets, HTC Vive, Valve Index, and Windows Mixed Reality headsets. In addition, users can make hand and finger gestures on controllers that support finger presence like the Valve Index, which can then be linked to activating specific facial expressions, animations, or custom events. 
In addition to various headsets, Neo's VR supports a wide range of VR accessories, including the Leap Motion Finger Tracking Module and the HTC Vive Lip Tracker, which allows users to broadcast lower facial expressions and speech. The HTC Vive Pro Eye is also supported, allowing you to use eye presence in certain avatars. Furthermore, Neo's VR supports hip and foot tracking, also known as full body tracking. To accomplish this, the user will wear an HTC Virtual Reality System Tracker, also known as a Vive Tracker Puck, which will relay the user's body position. Inverse kinematics is then used to calculate movement, with up to 8 additional trackers used to replicate one's physical movement in real time. What are the key features of Neo's VR? Neo's is, at its core, a spatial computing program that powers virtual worlds built on top of it. It dynamically synchronizes the worlds and behaviors built within it, and potentially creates an in-world economy. Here are some of its key features. Performance independent of hardware. Neo's VR is intended to work on any device of your choice, including headsets such as Oculus and web browsers. This makes it extremely accessible to both creators and consumers worldwide. It also integrates with Sketchfab, allowing you to quickly import VR creations from various devices and platforms. Realistic Movements When it comes to sensing movement within the VR world, Neo's is extremely powerful. It can track changes in physical positions, hand movements, and gestures. In addition, a recent update added the ability to perceive eye and lip movements, allowing Neo's VR worlds to understand and react to facial expressions. The Global Economy Neo's, like many other VR worlds, recognizes an in-world economy as a requirement if immersive spaces are to truly mimic and function as real physical spaces. As a result, Neo's has developed its own cryptocurrency, and based on Ethereum. Neo's credits, like any stock market, fluctuate in value on a daily basis and are only available in limited quantities. Luminous User Interface Radiant is Neo's user interface, which is modular and extensible in nature. Radiant UI was released as part of the 2022 update. It includes a facet system for swapping and extending specific bits of UI as modular pieces onto the underlying Neo's VR grid, allowing for more advanced interaction and user experience. So what do you think about Neo's VR? Is it better than the Pico 4 or the MetaQuest Pro? Let us know in the comments below, and if you are interested in more such VR headset reviews, then subscribe to MetaHub now or else you will miss out. Make sure to like the video and share it with your friends who are also into Meta. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon, take care!